Addiction was the greatest thing to happen to me. I'm happy to see that my greatest adversity became my greatest accomplishment. To my astonishment, I've strived and thrived in a world of egoic pride where I've tried day in and day out to never lose sight of self-growth, self-worth, and a love for sobriety. I try to see both sides to the coin because the two create the value of one. That's how you become a person of integrity, character, wisdom, and growth. Addiction was the greatest thing to happen to me. It just happens to be that it almost ended it all. Amended for all intents and purposes, my direction in life has dramatically changed. And I emphatically gained self-growth knowledge is better than any college or school. What's cool about sobriety is the opportunity to accept your impurities, address your insecurities, and impress what's sure to be the newfound you. Addiction was the greatest thing to happen to me. Just having to free a side to me that I feared more than I loved. I went above and beyond to avoid who I truly am and neglected my destiny. The test for me was to show my willingness to search deep within. The first leap begins without your peers and without your tears. Throughout the years of sobriety, I've experienced a variety of healthy mental tactics to combat this madness going on in the attic. I'll be sporadic, erratic, but because I'm an addict, I attack this sobriety recovery like a newfound discovery that I want to share with the world. Addiction was the greatest thing to happen to me. But what's been half in the free and half in the trapped is my nemesis, this genesis of social awkwardness. I'll start with this. It comes and goes, no knowledge as to why or how. Now, don't get me wrong when I say this, because I'm more proud than disappointed but the point is, I'm socially distant when I shouldn't be. You see, I'm not trying to do the boo-hoo, poor me, self-pity, sympathy, simply for me to feel sorry for myself. But after all the wealth of information, all the health and inspiration that I've acquired over the years, it steers me in the direction of confusion to see my confidence as an illusion. Addiction was the greatest thing to happen. Like a captain at sea who's happy as can be, knowing he's in control of the vessel. But I wrestle with the emotions that this notion of addicts being damaged goods. In the woods or the jungle of American society, there's a variety of ways we go about it. But without a doubt, it's all about happiness at the end of the day. We pretend in a way that the stockbroker is a better person than the addict. When in fact, it's a more parallel lifestyle than you've been led to believe. To achieve daily success, they must invest in the art of manipulation, deceit, and lying always trying to convince others that they know what they're doing. They're both pursuing the same thing, and the song they sing is sure to bring what they believe to be happiness. Addiction was the greatest thing to happen to me, and I have yet to see the greatest version of me, which brings courage and cancels fears. I've spent years practicing the art of recovery, and my discovery and explorations, I found a nation of addicts. In fact, it's been sobering in my sobriety to see an entire society addicted to one thing or another. What I've discovered and what's dope to me is that dopamine is a common denominator amongst us all. Yet we fall short on acquiring it in healthy ways. So these days, I no longer chase happiness because the fact is I just practice being content with the good, the bad, and everything in between. It seems addiction truly was the greatest thing to happen to me.